I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Google Cloud is hosting their Data Cloud Summit on April 6th, which will bring together tech leaders and data professionals who've used modern data cloud systems to create change, solve problems, and build better businesses. This event will feature sessions on how AI, machine learning, analytics, and databases can create the foundation to tackle your own challenges. If you'd like to learn more about recent innovations in Google Cloud databases, learn how to break down data silos and how to keep your data secure while seeing some live demos and doing some hands-on learning, be sure to register with the link below. Now, let's dive into some new releases from the past week. Android 13 Developer Preview 2 is now available for you to try out. Your input helps us make Android a better platform for developers and users, so definitely let us know what you think. This new release includes a new API to let your app protect user privacy by downgrading previously granted runtime permissions, as well as improved Japanese text wrapping, improved line heights for non-Latin scripts, rendering support for color version one, and more. If Go is more your speed, you can now try out Go 1.18 by visiting the download page linked below. This is a massive release that includes new features, performance improvements, and the biggest change ever to the language. Go 1.18 introduces new support for generic code using parameterized types. Additionally, with Go 1.18, Go is the first major language with fuzzing fully integrated into its standard toolchain. Lastly, this release includes CPU performance improvements of up to 20%. For a more detailed description of everything that's in 1.18, check out the release notes. For the first time, Google Forms has an API that you can try out today. The new Google Forms API joins the large family of APIs available to developers under the Google Workspace platform. The Forms API provides programmatic access for managing forms, acting on responses, and empowering developers to build powerful integrations on top of Forms. To learn more about example use cases, the API functionality, and see examples developers have built during the beta release, check out the blog posts on the Google Developers blog. The final update for this week is the availability of the Last Mile Fleet solution from the Google Maps platform. This solution includes a variety of APIs and SDKs that you can integrate into your applications for mapping, routing, and places functionality. It also includes a backend service to help orchestrate delivery journeys across drivers, consumers, and fleet operation teams. The Last Mile Fleet solution is all about creating exceptional delivery experiences, and the features include route optimization, driver routing and navigation, shipment tracking, and fleet performance. To learn more about the solution, check out the blog linked below. And for some hands-on learning, check out the developer documentation. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I don't know what I'm going to do with this plant. I had to move a lot of my plants to the other side of the room because it was looking like I was a plant hoarder.